What is up everybody? In this video, we're going to be beating Elden Ring and all of its main bosses while only leveling strength. On this run, we're going to be turning into a damage dealing monster, using all of the biggest strength scaling weapons that we can find to annihilate these bosses. Oh, as always with these stat only playthroughs, we're going to be doing this run region locked. So for Limgrave, I need to kill Godric before we can go to Liurnia, and for Liurnia, we need to kill Renala, and so on. We just passed 300,000 subscribers on the channel, and I can't thank you all enough for the support. A lot of you who watch my videos still aren't subscribed, so even if you are, make sure you double check so you don't miss what's coming up. This was my favorite one of these runs so far, and I'm really looking forward to the Vigor, Dex, and Intelligence only playthroughs. But before we get into that, I'd like to thank the sponsor of this video, HelloFresh. I really like to cook and try out new recipes, but planning all the meals and going to the grocery store can get very time consuming. Luckily, I can skip all of that with HelloFresh. They make eating well super easy with quick, convenient recipes delivered right to you. Just choose your recipes and select a delivery date. HelloFresh handles the meal planning and the shopping, so all you have to do is open your box of pre-portioned ingredients and get cooking. They also have more options to support your wellness journey than ever before. You can dig into their biggest menu yet with 45 plus dinner options and even more market items that suit any healthy lifestyle. They say breakfast is the most important meal of the day, and HelloFresh agrees. In fact, they're giving all HelloFresh subscribers free breakfast for life. That means you'll enjoy a totally free breakfast item with every single HelloFresh delivery. Make sure you scan the QR code or click the link in the description and use code GINOFREE to receive one free breakfast item per box for your entire HelloFresh subscription. Thanks again to HelloFresh for sponsoring today's video. And now, back to the run. Um, so I've been looking forward to this run for a while, dude. We're gonna go probably with just the biggest weapons in the game. All right, what do you guys think we start out? Do we start out with great axes, like power stance jump attack build with double great axe, man? With, oh, okay. Yeah, I guess we'll go with that. And as usual, uh, we start with the highest, the, the class that has the highest in the specific stat. Hero it is. No, Saitama is my uh, fist only character, I'm pretty sure. Or maybe it's not, but I'm gonna go with Larry. Living like Larry, dude. Yeah, Larry Wheels and Larry the Lobster. It's a two in one. Um, What do I start with? I guess just the rune. We'll go get the Great Axe and we will also go get the Anchor. The only problem is that we're not immediately gonna have enough runes. Surely I can get some. Oh boy. Oh my god, dude! That's some free so runes from shit. the Scion here. So shit. That is such a garbage. Oh my god. Done, maybe? Uh, Asala, thanks for the, um, two gifts of subs. I appreciate that. There we go. That's how I, that's how I dodge that. Oh, just, man, I love, I love the battle axe, man. And, and just axes in general and souls games. I can't think of a souls game where axes are bad. They're just, they're just all good. I really just can't think of one. Like you said that line for give subs. It was um, it was a streamer named Posy. Oh yeah, there it is, dude. Do you guys want to watch the clip? <laughs> he was doing a, a Brigand Twin Dagger no hit run. He was on Aldrich, and he goes for this insane greed hit. It somehow misses. Oh my god, dude! <laughs> that's so shit. That is. So I genuinely shit. cried at this for a good 20 minutes at least. Because yeah, he just goes for a hit, he whiffs, and then he just, he just starts screaming, dude. All right, first order of business is the Great Axe. I would like to use Godfrey's Great Axe. You, do you get that from Horlu or how many stats can I get to here? Okay, easily, dude. Oh, but wait, I need to actually hit 30 if we're power stancing. Oh shit, okay, I kind of didn't calculate that in my head somehow. Strength is nice and simple. Just go and bonk everybody. Yes, okay, for sure we're going to use that. This build is going to be insane. No, like determination, power stancing already. But yeah, we do need to hit 30 strength. So I'm going to have to kill some extra stuff. Probably kill the Heer of Zamora to get the... Uh, the uh, Scar Seal. There it is. Let's just first get the go, go get the anchor. I also kind of forgot we have the physic too. I, I, we've been doing the master run, so I, I just forget I'm allowed to use stat boosting stuff. Like with the physic, we're already above 30 strength, so. Yeah, we're just collecting some runes and stuff, and I need to get the physic so that I can actually wield this thing. 
I've done mind only. Intelligence only will be probably the last one I do. So, so we have vigor only. We have dex only. Intelligence only. And I think that's it. I, I think I'll try to finish only up tomorrow. Maybe. We'll see. Or the only up mod. So yeah, those are the remaining ones. Next one will probably be Vigor, I think, and then we'll do Dex, and then Int will be the final one, because that'll probably be the most elaborate one out of all of them. Okay, let's go take out the uh, Rolly Boy. What is the R2 that this one gets? Not a huge fan of that. I'm just going to collect some of these. I'm sure I won't die. Uh, oh, he's going to follow me in the boss arena here. That was nice of him. The rolly boy. I should try that R2 on him, I think. Here we go. Thun or something. Hey, that actually worked. This guy's got to have, like, the most delayed attacks in Elden Ring, right? Or just <laughs> the most. He just holds his axe. And also, why, why does he drop the anchor? We don't ask questions. We only bonk. Um, So we got our weapons. So quick setup here. Maybe that's part of the reason why I did region locked as well is just because I just wanted to, like, get the run started and go fight stuff. Okay, so we got strength, uh, spiked, determination. Probably not go with the higher deck scaling. Oh, I'm... Wait, when did I take this helmet off? <laughs> okay, there we go. Maybe I don't need this or this. Okay, that's probably better. What I what you do is you go Cragblade on your offhand, and then Knight's Resolve on your main hand, and then you just destroy things with this build. But the anchor is very good because it's a pierce weapon. So when you get those counter hits, they're pretty rare in PvE when you're fighting bosses, but they do happen, especially with, with the ability to, to do jump attacks and you just smoke everybody, dude. One thing I do want to do is go upgrade, maybe. May I have a word? What hope is thou to Get bonked. Well, that sucks. Should we go kill a Giel really quick? <laughs> Let's go kill a Giel. We'll just get a little taste of this build here. Strength builds are definitely my favorite in these games, I would say. Oops. Not bad damage for a single hit on plus zero. Not even a headshot. Oh. Monstrous hit. <laughs> just, it's so funny, dude. That's pr that, that's respectable damage so far. We'll go plus three on the anchor. All right, Margot. This game is maybe an exception, but usually strength builds are harder to use on a first playthrough. That's actually ridiculous damage for this upgrade level, man. Oh my, that is insane. Determination is so good, too. It's insane that they just put that right at the start of the game. Ouch. Okay, that was not super well played, but man, a lot of damage, though. <laughs> okay, so we will go get the Claw Talisman. All right, open main gate, obviously. Also, I should get more strength. There we go. Now we don't need the physic, which is nice. Oh, sorry, Gostock. Oh, 
finished. I don't know. We we could get the great axe to or the anchor to plus seven if I wanted to. Our damage is so high <laughs> that I, I don't think we really need to. I don't really think we need it. <laughs> it's so funny, dude. This, this game is so easy, dude. How could you ever die in this game? Surely I won't walk up and die to this guy now that I said that. Oh. Oh my. Oh, we got his greatsword. Hell yeah, dude. Maybe, maybe... Life of a strength user in Elden Ring right here, man. <laughs> oh, I remember where the brick hammer is. Oh, yeah, dude. Oh. I remember where it is. Okay, that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't know it was... Uh, there was a wine cellar there, though. Oh. It outplayed. Oh. As I nearly get pushed off. Here we are. So, it said the wine cellar. That's what Fractured Life said. Where's the wine cellar? I thought it was saying in the main castle part. Which which part is the... Like, this whole thing is a wine cellar? Where's the wine, dude? Oh, I guess these... Oh, these barrels are... Dude, I've never thought about it. <laughs> That's crazy, man. I thought they were just exploding barrels. Learn something new every day. <laughs> All right, let's go are get the jump talisman. Ever. I don't know. I don't know how wine is stored. Wouldn't they be barrels that are, like, in the walls, though? Or have, are, like, on shelving? <laughs> like, I don't know, man. Now, normally, a plus three weapon against Godric would not be very good. This, this I can't even imagine this will be that good here, but... But let's see. Maybe I'll upgrade a tiny bit. I wonder if it's possible to get a two-in-one somehow here. Birds are so easy in this game, man. Don't even know how you could die to a bird. I'd say go in here and probably get swarmed by... Get swarmed and instantly die. Oh, just line them up. Oh, it's so easy, dude. Alright, there's a three here. Video game. Well, yeah, obviously it's a video game, but... I'm trying to I'm trying to understand how that's a wine cellar. Is that's what I'm trying to figure out. Cuz obviously, yeah, I mean we're playing a game with magic and stuff, but but how but that's yeah, that's Oh, kill your own friend, dude. Does it say on the key that it's a wine cellar? It does not. I was defending myself for sounding like an idiot because um I was confused what the wine cellar, cellar was and I thought it was going to be, like, somewhere else in Stormvale, but it wasn't. Whoa. All right, two's there. Oh, boy. This guy's not going to know what hit him right here. Yep. Yep, and there it is. Oh. It's just so easy. That plus 10 ruins great sword has S strength scaling and crazy poise you must use. <laughs> yeah, well, I'll probably use it, I guess. All right, Godric time. We are plus seven and plus one. Plus seven. This is going to be really strong, I think. Oh. <laughs> oh my. That's actually really insane for this upgrade level, dude. Hey.
Oh, wow. Oh my god. That was that was nearly a 1200 hit right there. <laughs> That's so funny, dude. Well, there goes Godric. And yeah, you get both you get both these weapons in Limgrave too. So that's another insane thing. You know what? I want to fight this guy. Damn it. Oh. It's too easy, dude. Petness build up, dude. True. Yep, they need more statuses, and that would actually be so funny. But how did, <laughs> if you could like get people sick or something? I wonder what 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 would the status effect actually do? I'm just I'm feeling like killing everything right now, man. Okay, we got the great rune. So Lyernia build, are we saying are we saying the brick hammer? I guess it's is it the exact same maybe, moveset as maybe I'll give you the best nut ever. I think it's the exact same moveset. Let's see, let's see what other options we have. Okay, well what do we say about the um grafted blade? Grafted and ruins power stance. That actually makes a lot of sense, dude. Because then we could use the buff to get the extra ten intelligence or extra intelligence that we need. But then we still need to figure out what we're gonna use for Lyernia section though. Oh my god, just get one shot of dude. So I, I I guess I'll pop. I'm I'm probably not gonna use his soul, so I'm gonna pop this. I still have no rune arcs right now. Or we could we could use endurance, see if it's any good. It's just going through the academy, you know, they deal magic damage. That's not really the ideal place to try to use endure, I I, I feel like. Alright, let's see. This jump attack here. Oh my. <laughs> that was a boss right there, apparently. Not a basic enemy, just a boss. Okay, we got Grafted Blade, so that, that'll probably be for later. I like Great Mace, man. That sounds pretty cool. Or, or we could go Great Club also, which is right here. So here's the Great Club. This is a very solid weapon here. Oh, this has some pretty solid strength scaling, I guess. But yeah, let's go, uh, let's go get the great mace. Jar cannon? Dude, that's true. That's a good point. Remember last time we did some meme setup? On Fire Giant, we did scraps, only Fire Giant. Yeah, that was certainly a mistake, but I, I feel like Jar cannon... Do you guys think Jar cannon Fire Giant <laughs> is a mistake? <laughs> maybe, maybe... But the Jar cannon is not that bad, though. Like, the, it, it can, one thing, it can, it can't possibly be worse than scrap only fire giant, so. I mean, I, I just, I feel like we should power stance them <laughs> or something, right? And, and, dude, this one has the best strength scaling also. And it's the heaviest. We could, we could power stance hammers and just not do jump attacks. First order of business is we're going to go kill the... Boss that allows us to get more smithing stones. I mean, strike damage on a Crystallion. Strike damage on Chris Stallion is very easy. But yeah, I, I'm not going to go jump attack. No jump attacks allowed with this because we just did jump attacks and this is basically the same. So. How many. Are there a bunch of threes in this cave? Because maybe I should have. Gonna pick some up. That sprint attack actually is not bad. Ooh. 
Please don't kill me. I, this would be the world's first death to Chris. Chris. Crystal alien. Okay, so that'll allow us to get both to plus six, and then we'll probably just prioritize getting one to plus, you know, you can't get to plus 13 here. I guess I guess we should. There's quite a few bosses we gotta kill, so. And yeah, yeah let's go get Butt Slime, too. I think I, I kind of want to go with Butt Slime. I want to go with Endure and Butt Slime if I can somehow. Here we are. That is, that is how I beat a lot of boss on my first playthrough of DS3, was just spamming Perseverance. And this game, Endure, is not as good. At least I don't think. I don't think it lasts as long, but it's still... Heard it. Like, I think it's still decent, but let's try it out. We're going to get all bricked up and and uh, go butt slam Renala. <laughs> okay. Um, this is not a bad start. <laughs> Man, that costed so many runes. So let me think for a second. We need a scaling and strength already. So, so we're plus eight. We need, I think, six more threes. They're just kind of scattered around Liurnia and then... I guess I'll, I'll start here. Couple threes. Simple. These lobsters have got nothing on me, dude. Simple again. Maybe, maybe I'll give you the best nut ever. Oh, simple again, dude. <laughs> um, I'm not going to lie. I'm a little disoriented here. There's a chair. Here we go. Maybe, maybe. Oh. I'll give you the best nut oh. ever. Oh. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, dude. Well, I guess I'm taking this poison. This mega strength character that gets blasted by a little flower. Okay, so that's enough threes for plus nine, and then I'm gonna. But there's there's quite a few fours and a couple fives, and that's how we get a plus thirteen all from the uh, the tunnel up here. I forget what it's called. Maybe, maybe. Oh, no, I don't. The it's the ruin ever. strewn precipice. All right, smithing four. Smithing four. Dude, that sprint attack is actually not bad at all. I had no idea the power stance uh, hammer sprint attack was good. Okay, do we have enough? Uh, we need one more, which I guess we get over here. Or wait, is this a four? I guess so. We have 11k. I, I don't know why they do this. I, I really don't think. I don't think they should make heavier weapons cost more to upgrade. It's just an unnecessary punishment. All right, let's kill some wreck. I, I can't imagine butts. Oh, wait a second. We're not done yet. Let's go to the shack. Yeah, being able to unupgrade weapons would be pretty cool. Oh, well, I'm sorry, buddy. You're about to get slammed. Oh, I'm about to get destroyed. Violent death. Oh, thanks for your balls, buddy. Braggart's Roar. Get the heavy infusion. We offhand buff with this. We get nice stamina regen plus extra damage. And then I can use Endure and then Butt Slam. <laughs> Not sure if I'm going to have to tank on... Uh, a boss like this, though. But one one thing I probably should get, now that I think about it, is I, I wasn't really planning on getting the Warrior Jar Shard, but I'll just pick it up. Getting the Turtle Talisman also is a good idea. Oh! No, no, despite my appearance, I am but a chip of a greater jar. I've never actually... You to... I've never said that before. <laughs> no, I won't help you. See ya. But that was by accident. Oh, I got... Dude, I got this cancel again. It's funny. I've never done that cancel before. And now... Basically two times in a row picking up this talisman, I've gotten it. Let's go with uh, Warrior Jar. I, I'm going to try to use the Butt Slam. It does a shit ton of poise damage, but... The real problem is landing it on a dragon. Which I don't... That might not go so well. Let's see. Okay. 
Okay. He's probably voice broken already here. Just kidding. I don't know how that hit him, but it did. <laughs> oh. And that does a lot of damage. Nope, down he goes. Yeah, he's got pink eye, unfortunately. But yeah, when when the when ground slime hits every hit, it does it does well over 40 poise damage. Oh, nice. We can go with the full armor now. Maybe All right, maybe, let's see how this does on Red Wolf. I, I'm not sure. I, not ever. Can you actually use Ground Slam to jump over stuff? I, I think you can, but I I don't remember. All right, let's see if I can jump over the uh, the swipe here. And I'll, I'll try to... I'll try to use en Endure here somewhere. Oh. Whoa! Okay, Endure ran out. <laughs> yeah, the build doesn't quite work so well in this game. I just I think Endure doesn't last nearly as long. But man, that a th like a three shot's not terrible at all. It's not bad. Yes, yeah, three seconds. How in in it, so in Dark Souls three, what what it does is you cast it or you cast Perseverance, you get probably a three second duration of the the full damage negation, but then it it slowly goes down. So like we can check our status in this game. So see our damage negation on the right. Oh my God! Why is it closing? Okay, see see those numbers. It's it's hard to describe this, but it slowly goes down in Dark Souls three, whereas in this it instantly goes down. I guess. I, I don't know how, why I had such a hard time finding that, but... Okay, here's Moongram. I usually fight Moongram, I feel like. Oh! What an idiot. I'm sure this will work. Oh, it did work. Oh my god, get clowned on, dude. Well, there he goes. Yeah, you can't bury... <laughs> you can't parry my ass, dude. True. Let's see how this part... Go how this fight goes here. I do wonder if the DPS on Ground Slam is actually good. Oops. Alright, Ranala. I'm gonna get Pink Eye. Oh boy. I should have gone for it. Why didn't I go for it, dude? <sighs> Nothing worse than getting hit by a book. Oh. Crazy cancel. Okay, let's see if we can get a, a stun really quickly here. Maybe. Well, this this will cancel. Oh! She likes it, dude. Look at her. Oh. Oh. Oh, boy. <laughs> the, the noise she makes when she gets stunned is so funny. Oh. That noise she makes is hilarious. I should have turned up my volume for that. <laughs> that was good. I, <laughs> I, I, wasn't, I wasn't planning on using it the whole time there, but I guess we did. <laughs> oh my god, dude. That was something. Yep, no longer, no longer maidenless after that. Dude, Radagon's gonna hate me on this run, man.
All right, into um, <clears throat> Magma Worm. Why is your head so far in the air? Come on, how's that not a... Oh! Destroyed. Definitely not a bad build at all right here. <laughs> Sit on his face. It is so funny that they have this kind of build. It's too bad they didn't they didn't have an Ash of War like this in, in Dark Souls 3 with Smo's hammer. They should have had a lightning version. Maybe like even in this game they should have had a lightning version, I feel like. Rank equal easy mode. That yeah, that's probably especially in this game, that's probably true. Alright, so we're going into Altus now. So what do we want to swap to? Could go great club. That's a big boy weapon. Kind of light though, actually. I feel like we we have to use the great club somewhere, right? You can't not use the great club on a on a strength build. That's just a rule. So let's go with that. The big bong dude. I think it's the highest poise damage in the game on a charge R2. Probably just kill the boss with the uh I'll probably just butt slime him after I kill him with fire or whatever. I guess there are quite a few um fives in here. Let's get the great club first. And there's also there there is also the troll's hammer in here. Alright, simply throw. Simply die. Alright, there's our weapon. Yeah, see, it does. It has a tiny bit of faith scaling and holy damage on it, which they changed in, a, in an update. At some point, I think they updated it after I did the no hit run with the weapon. But yeah, I feel like if you're if you're doing a run, a strength run with big weapons, you can't not go with this thing. Ah, yes, the great club. They never expect a secret great club backstab. Oh, yeah, the swing is so funny. You just you just raise it up and you just let it fall down. There's a troll's hammer. Don't even need to aggro the dogs. Yeah, the, the, dude, this thing's a very solid weapon. And I, you actually can buff it? Look at that, man. I forgot about that part of it. Time to invade their wine cellar. Rip all of their wine. I, I gotta go back to Stormvale and look at that place, man. All right, so we got our weapon. Um, we have quite a few fives right now. Go back here. Just gonna upgrade a little bit before I go into this. Uh, I, I I might as well kill the Onyx Lord because there's some upgrades in the in that cave as well. I do. It, it is so fun just running around hitting R2 on all these guys. I like Shaded Castle. Yeah, I like it as well. Secure has clunky movement. I 100% agree, yeah. I've been saying that for a long time, and a lot of people disagree, but... I think the movement in Sekiro is actually one of the... Well, it's more its more like the running. The, the fact that you... In Sekiro, the fact that you have to dash before sprinting is really bad. And then also the ledge grabbing is really awkward, too. So yeah, a lot of people seem to think the movement in Sekiro is really good. I just disagree. I don't think it's... I, I don't think it's that great, actually. I think the... The grappling is cool, even though it's a little janky a lot of the time. And it's fun to, like, jump across buildings and all that stuff, but... Please stop this. Yeah, that, that's probably an unpopular opinion, but that's that's how I feel about it, though. Why did I walk so far back? I 
No, she... Yeah, she broke it. But so, yeah, if in Sekiro they, they made it so that... Look at that. Three sixes right there. If they made it so that it's like Souls where you don't dash immediately, make it so that... I, I would prefer just no ledge grabs at all. I know it's... it's They probably did it so that you don't go, like, flying around everywhere, but I think... I think that would be way more fun, actually, if it was... If you kind of, like, slid off stuff more when you're sprinting to a ledge. The movement in that game then becomes, like, nearly perfect, I would say. So, yeah, that's my... That's my opinion on it. Oh, my God. What do I rate Elden Ring? I... I've said before I give it, like, an 8.5. I think my scale is... It's very, uh... I'm gonna try to use this Ash of War here. Oh. We can just crouch poke this guy to death. It's, um... I don't know, like, for me, a 5 is... Is a solid game. This is classic Onyx Lord gameplay. And so a game being above, I would say, a 7 is, would, is like, extremely high for me, basically. My example of a 5 would be... Um, I gave Code Vein a round of 5. Code Vein was below a 5, I, I believe, but... Uh. But yeah, so I, I... Basically, for me, most of the Dark Souls games are, like... I wouldn't look too much into it. If you think Elden Ring's a 10... Obviously, when you're rating games like that, it's purely subjective anyways. But the way I think about it is I, I try to look at it more from... Not how much I enjoy the game, but just how good I think the game is when I'm trying to be more, like, slightly more objective, you know? Because if it was based on just how much I like the game, then that would be totally different. But yeah, like, 8.5 is really high. My favorite game of all time is probably Morrowind, which, like, I probably give some bonus points to because I like it so much, I guess. But I don't know, it's sort of like a mix between how good I think the game is objectively and then also just how much I actually like the game. But yeah, I gave, I, I have more wind at like, a, I think it was a nine. Like when I just think about it, it would probably be like a 9.5, which would be the highest that I can think of. Uh, Minecraft. Oh, that, that's tough, dude. I guess Minecraft could, that'd be one of the games I would actually consider to be a potential 10. All right, time to fight a rune bear. I, I really like fighting these guys. Holy smokes. <laughs> He's a monster, dude. I could just run away, but... No one with this amount of strength runs away with a huge club like this. But yeah, 8.5. You know, whatever I rate Elden Ring would be above all the other Souls games. Um, so... But they're all... They would all be around the same. Oh! Stop, please. Stop. <laughs> Biblical last fight. Yeah, this is flashback 3,000 years ago. This is what they were doing. Fighting a huge bear with a big stick. This boys break. These guys get way too much hate, dude, I think. Maybe not, though, actually, because most people just try to run away from them, and then you end up, get, like, getting sniped, and they can catch up to you on horse. So, all right, plus 16. I think we can get a plus 17, actually, but um, I wonder if we should go kill the Crystallians right now. And and I, I, I guess I some of the things that aren't great also, maybe they're not bad, but they're just they're, there could have been a lot more done is just the... Um, like connections of the map to, to each other because there's a lot of running around and it's an open world game i'm perfectly fine with that especially because the world's really nice but there could have been a lot of links that would have been really cool so like for example the first one i think of morn castle getting in or morn tunnel getting into morn castle right that's they could have done something like that and it would have made a lot of sense and that's what i thought would happen on my first playthrough it's like okay i'm going into this tunnel maybe this will lead into the castle but it doesn't so it's a little disappointing uh, where do I drop off here to survive? Is it here? I think it's here. Yep, 
Yeah, some of the open world bosses though are are really good. I this this worm guy, this guy's a cool. This is a perfect open world boss, I think, where it's it's a unique boss, and it's sort of like a mega version of what you fought before. There's not a hundred of the, of them in the game. Especially like the most important thing is not a NPC boss. Giant Crusher with Knight's Resolve. That sounds like a good idea to me. Oh, oh, who needs a poise break first when you? When you do that to him. Man, Chris is not happy about this one. Chris. Chris Alien. <laughs> Jesus. All right, I think we're good to uh, fight the DTS here. And I, I also, I feel like we should just buff it with something. The big, uh, like, toothpaste club. <laughs> yeah, Colgate great club look at that they gotta run away from me coward oh no Oh yeah, I should not have done that for sure. Maybe, maybe I'll give you the best nut ever. Oh, see ya. Oh yeah, the falling star beast. Oh yeah, we can fight him. Cause I think yeah, I think you do get sixes from him. And I have the big lightning club now. Has anyone, I, I, I've never actually tried. Can the tree? Can the falling star beast hit the tree sentinel? I don't know how many of those will hit. Yep, that's about right. There's also, this is a good weapon on this guy too. Is it, I'm pretty sure it has enough height to hit him in the head. Oh, that's bullshit, dude. Okay, let's see here. Bonk. Bonk. Oh, come on. No. Yep, and there it is right there. And now he's going to get stunned. Do it stun, obviously. It's almost like this weapon was designed for these guys with like, it has the perfect height to hit them in the face. Okay, well that allows us definitely to upgrade again. Like maybe I maybe I shouldn't because there's just no point. But I guess I will. All right, let's level up. Of course, more strength, 55 strength. So we are sitting at 710 AR right now. All right, we're gonna have a golden land off right here. How does it feel? Oh, it's it's actually well. I mean, 444 versus. <laughs> Let's try maybe. What if I do try this? Oh. Oh my god, the combo. Huge combo. It was beautiful right there, actually. Morgoth is not going to have a chance against this thing, dude. And I, I kind of forgot about Godfrey, too. He's going to get destroyed, also. Need to know how much poise damage this, this whole combo does. Because it's, it's a triple hit. Like, I mean, maybe that the Ash of War is kind of good. M maybe not against bosses, but smaller enemies. Like, not a high enough percentage of it is holy damage that makes it bad against main bosses. So, still a really good weapon overall. See ya. Whee! <laughs> Just as I imagined it. Oh my god. I had no idea. I gotta I definitely need to see how much poise damage this does. I'm gonna open up ER tool. Okay, so he's got 110 poise. Like this will count as a sneak attack, but wait, no! 59 poise. 
So, I'm dead. Oh my god, the clutch. So, 110 to 59. I'm not sure if he got hit by any of those projectiles. And one of the one of the first it was a sneak attack, so that wasn't a really good test. But yeah, surely I'll be able to get this off on gold free here, but Oh my god, it actually Okay, so he is a bunch of those projectiles hit, but he has 72 poise from 120. Right there. Bonk. Oh my god, he's getting destroyed. <laughs> I didn't I didn't even look at his health bar. But how much how much damage did that combo do? Good lord. Okay, so it was did I say 72? It's, it seems like it's basically the same as a charge or two. But oh my god, this I, I should have been using the warrior jar right there. This weapon's a monster. And I had no I I, I knew it was good, but I didn't know this Ash of War was actually solid too. Oh, where are you going? Oh <laughs> Okay, maybe I've just been using this Ash of War wrong the whole time. It's actually a point blank Ash of War. It's not a range thing. All right, well, I guess it's a good thing that I use this weapon because I guess, yeah, now that I think about it, I haven't actually used it since it got buffed. So, you know, we should probably go kill Gillica too, I'm realizing. Yeah, so the Sash of War is decent, but obviously this weapon would have been better if it didn't, you weren't locked into using Golden Lands. Because could, could you imagine this thing with Knight's Resolve or something, dude? All right, Gillica has 80 poise right here. And then it goes to 35. So, so it's, yeah, I mean, it, it, it's basically the same as an R2. Because I'm pretty sure this does 45 R charge R2. So. But it's still good for, for NPCs and stuff. I'm going to walk up to him and just charge R2, I think. Nearly already died. Oh, voice break. And if I remember correctly, this is fast enough to... Yeah, see, look at that. And now I just simply... <laughs> oh my god, dude. So the funny thing is right there, if he didn't die, which I honestly, I was hoping he wasn't going to, he would have gotten poise broken again because of how the, it's the same way the square off cheese works for this boss is that when he gets reposted, the weapon is fast enough to hit him before he's out of the recovery. So he can't go into phase two with that. And then since it does 40 poise damage a hit, you poise, dam you poise break him on the next hit. The poise break takes priority over the phase transition. And so you just permanently keep him in phase one. He never goes to phase two. Yep. This weapon, dude, this weapon's insane, man. <laughs> I forgot how much I liked it. I think we'll go into Kayla next, probably. Unless we should go into uh, Gelmir and use the Jar Cannon, which I will use. I th I think I'm going to use Jar Cannon in, on, on Fire Giant, dude. So what do you guys say? Do we go into Gelmir and just continue with the Great Club? Like, maybe that's what I should do for these runs is just consider all of Altus and not have Gelmir as a separate place. Like, at least for this build. Maybe for other builds where, you know, there's a lot of options, like the Faith one. I think I did use something different here. And then I used... The faith on Rikard as well, but in this case, I, I'm not going to get a whole different setup just for one boss. So I think I think we just include Galmir. Plus, I I honestly I want to see the the club on Rikard Phase One because I, I will use the club on Rikard Phase One. And the Master Run is even the harder mode version where you do it also on NG Plus Seven. Just waiting for his fire helmet to stop. Obviously, the reason I'm fighting this guy is because we're, we're going to use that monster weapon eventually. I have done a no hit run with this weapon. Um, it is hilarious, dude. Oh, you're getting stunned and killed, I guess. Good lord. I thought we were going to have to stun him before he died, but... No, it's not miserable. It's it's just... Uh, there's, there's a reason I call it the master run. I think it's fun. It's fun to try to get to a point where you're good enough at the game to do that. I might as well fight this guy too while I'm here. <laughs>
I'm just I'm just wanting to kill stuff with this thing. Don't worry, we're gonna swap to something. Oh, seriously? That's disappointing. The one thing that this club isn't great at, I guess, is it's done. It's not very good range on those R2s. It's not terrible. Holy smokes. Oh my god. It golf clubbed. So okay, we're we're probably gonna have to come back to this guy for these great bolts eventually. I mean maybe maybe I even buy him now. Let's buy a couple of them. Kill him for his bell bearing. Dude, I've learned to not mess with these guys. Although we do have Do you actually think I should kill him? Did I say fire giant's weak to fire? I meant the opposite, if that's what I said. Oh, sorry, buddy. You have this insane NPC killer weapon, so. Yeah, this, this weapon is fantastic against NPCs, if you can just hit them. Ever consider doing a Souls blindfold run? I don't... I, I've, I've, I have considered it before. I don't know if I'm going to do one. And, and usually the challenges I like to do are are based around getting better at the game. I, I generally don't do runs that the difficulty comes from something outside of the game. I'd much rather do, you know, like proper playthroughs like this, like a normal kind of playthrough or just hard no hit runs or something like that. All of which are getting me like actually better at the game. Yeah, I'm just getting the jar cannon in here. <laughs> the follow up R2 is so funny. Here we go, Jar Cannon. The, there's, um, there's lightning great bolts, right? Is that correct? Already better at the game than 99% of people. Yeah, like that might be true, but I've also probably played it more than <laughs> that amount of people. So when you're not like super familiar with no hit runs and stuff, it's, it's hard to imagine the, the levels there are to it, I think. Because just doing a no-hit run is very impressive, but then getting to something like doing the master run all boss in this game, or master run all bosses in DS3, like, it's such a huge difference. It would be it would be almost impossible, impossible to imagine how much better I need to get at the game before doing that. Because if I attempted that right now, without practicing all the bosses and, and doing and figuring out all the routing for the re, the areas and all that stuff, like, I would take hundreds and hundreds of hits. I'm just yeah, so I'm, I need to get a lot better. Some people can like take things too far or whatever. Okay, so this boss is not weak to strike, but weak to getting stunned into its though. God, it just it's so it's so funny when you just poise break everything into its. Get it off. Ah. Uh. Oh. I mean. <laughs> Jesus, dude. I I thought that was gonna be way worse than that. Um, maybe I should get the somber seven. I guess I should have just sent this down. I thought he just killed me right there. I'm not gonna lie. I thought he just fell and killed me. <laughs> That's insane, dude. I, I think in bingo, basically almost every time, well, maybe not every time, but it's just, it's the right combination of, of skill, like the right weighting of skill versus, you know, just like luck or something in it. So I really like that. All right. So what I'm going to do here, you guys, I'm going to use the great club in phase one, and then I will use the serpent hunter because nobody likes right card phase two, but phase one, using a, a, a real weapon is actually something you can do. Please don't earthquake me. Okay, on this, we do want the whole follow-up. Bonk. Bonk.
That's so dumb that you... <laughs> they just scatter everywhere. Bonk. Done. Oh! Surely this one will at least hit. Uh, right guard has 120 poise, but we're headshotting him, so each one does 1.5 1 times more. Bonk. <laughs> it's so funny, dude. There we go. And he hasn't given us poison one time yet. That's what I'd like to see. Oh, we're right against the fucking wall somehow. Oh, yeah. I had to jinx it, dude. Love RNG poison. Oh, yeah. Love this attack also. Had to jinx it. I was almost going to say, like, if they if, if there's a way to fight phase two like this, then it wouldn't be so bad as long as they decrease his HP pool because he has just way too much HP, right? But even then, the lava's still so brutal and still a garbage fight, man. Got nothing on Yorm. Your mom. But yeah, I think the amount of HP that they gave him, I think they did that to make it so that... Like, they really wanted to probably lead the player to not fight him with a normal weapon. Like they, they wanted to make sure you, you were using the Serpent Hunter. Like, that's the only reason why you give him so much health, in my opinion. Because why else would you give him such a crazy amount of HP? Because, it, like, it shouldn't matter, right? Like, it's just a number. And the Serpent Hunter is, a, like, a percentage thing, I guess, right? Or... I haven't been counting. Is this... This is number two, I think. So yeah, they, they could have just, you know, decreased this boss's HP. You know, maybe do something about that lava. But you know what? The lava's okay. It, the idea of it is okay, I think. Maybe all it needed to do was have a little bit less range on it so that you, you didn't have to, like, be so close to walking into it every time you hit him. Um, I don't know. With those couple changes, though, and, and obviously making the phase two moveset actually, like, punishable with a melee weapon, then it wouldn't have been so bad. All right, dude, so we're done Altus, um, and I guess now we're going to go into Kaelid. I was saying I was going to use Guts Greatsword. We're doing, like, there's some, there's certain weapons, I feel like, on this run that you know, we're doing a strength build. You just have to use certain weapons, like the Great Club. You got to use the, the Guts Great Sword. So that's what we're going to do. But yeah, so they made Yorm have weak points where you could fight him with a melee weapon with basically any build, as long as it's not pure fire because he's immune to fire. Um, you could fight him with any build and have a very reasonable fight with him. Shit. Probably dead here. It's a miracle if I survive this. <laughs> oh my god, dude. There we go, there's a weapon. But, yeah, like I said, in a game that has nearly unlimited build possibilities, I just, I hate that you're forced into using the, the weapon that they gave you for the boss. I just, I despise that, dude. I might save maybe a few of these. Do I remember how to do this? Does anybody remember this? Where do I aim, though? <laughs> I I don't think I remember this setup here. I had I had such a specific setup for the skip, you guys, but I, I don't remember it exactly. Oh, and there it is. That's how it's done. I probably didn't need to get this quite yet, but 
I'm, I'm sure we'll need it at some point. You know, maybe I should have upgraded my weapon and just fought these guys straight up. What do you guys think? But yeah, I put Demon Prince as number one. And I think part of the reason why I like them so much is because it just... It's... <laughs> No, I, I like the boss. On my first playthrough, it was, it was probably my favorite boss in DS3. Um, it's also really nice fighting a dual boss that's good. And it's a huge contrast between... What Ash of War do you guys think I should go on this thing? I never really thought about that. Maybe we just keep Stamp on it, but then I can't Heavy Infuse. No, no, I'm going to go Lion's Claw on something else. I might go Lion's Claw on the Prelate Hammer. Unless you guys think that's more... Yeah, maybe we do go... Okay, okay, okay. Okay, dude. Oh, Craigblade would be sick too. That's tough, actually. I didn't... <sighs> I didn't think about that. I mean, or we could just go stamp on it. We could keep stamp. Anyways, let's, like we have a plus 18, so let's go blast this lion guy. Let's go collect all the Ash of Wars that I'm trying to decide which one to use, and then we'll decide after. Stamp sweep? Where do you get that from? I, I'm, I think I'm going to keep Stamp. Oh, uh, okay, maybe... So, it's on a beach in Limgrave. Is it down here? Or where, where's the other one? Or is it... Is it this one? Which beach is it on? All right, what path does this guy take? I don't think I've... I've killed this guy since my first playthrough. Oh, my goodness. How? I'm curious about the uh, the stamp here, if this is any good. It's it's so funny how they changed in Dark Souls Three. This weapon art was called Stomp, which I felt like made. I don't know. I feel like that's more what it should be called. Champions, welcome. Well, poor Redan's gonna get blasted, unfortunately. Yeah, yeah. Stamp is for mailmen, dude. <laughs> Stamp is for the post office. Stomp is for the fucking strength ultra chad in Dark Souls. 1300's not bad. Oh boy. Strafe, please. See this R2? Oh, that's actually kind of fast. It's faster than I thought it would be. I'm going to get hit by that. Please. You good? Oh my god, it's really fast. I, I didn't know you could cancel it like that. Well, unfortunately, he doesn't have en enough health to survive very much here. But Oh, just kidding. Holy, that's that's way better than I thought. Because of how fast that comes out. Anybody know the poise damage on it? Can you, can you do the same thing with Stomp? Because that's busted if you can. Yeah, this one's definitely not nearly as fast, but... Does, does the sweep knock down enemies? With how fast that hits, I, I think that's actually pretty good. I don't know, I'm gonna try it here. And then if it's, if like, I, I do want to try uppercut as well, so I might have to just quit out of this boss. I'm, I'm kind of curious about this right here. Oh. Yo, he just... Dude, that's going straight into his montage right there. I actually... I didn't think that I was going to be able to get that off because I had zero stamina, but then I did. That was fucking Chad move from the Misbegotten right there, dude. But so I guess it didn't knock him down there, right? I, I wasn't really paying attention. Somehow. Yeah, that's, that's definitely a little unfortunate that it doesn't knock down.
Oh, it does knock down. Okay, so... Ow. <laughs> Shit, dude. Okay, so it does, but he just... He was in his, like, poise thing, I guess. Bro, right, we're kind of doing too much damage to even tell. And it comes out so quick. Like, that seems really good, actually. Wow, that is... Every time I get hit by that attack, it's like, wow, that is just an amazing hitbox. Wait, what was that one right there? I just did a single? We're having some stamina issues. <laughs> Hmm, this is an interesting Ash of War. I, I feel like it's good. Like on an NPC, that, that could be a, a stun lock. I'm gonna go try it on huge really quick. I just I wanna see what he like we might be dealing too much damage. Yeah, he's just gonna get one shot of dude. Oh my god, he's a monster. So he doesn't get knocked down, but I I'm 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 pretty impressed with this actually. I just I, I wanna try it like on a boss like Renala, dude. Oh yeah, we're gonna kill the Great Jar. Oh yeah, that's a good point. And they do have a shit ton of health. But but this is an actual like NPC though, so they can probably just roll out of it. Alright, let's start with the hardest one first. Dude, it's it definitely does some work against them. Okay, maybe I should heal that. Aha, you can't parry this, fucker. Or maybe he can, I don't know. Interesting. I mean, I, I don't know if that's as good as this uppercut here. It's probably easier to land this, though. Because uppercut, they, they, they very easily just roll through it. So I don't have a small parry shield. I want to at least get one parry. Stop doing gem attacks. It's like it's like they know that I'm got my parry shield out. <laughs> blame the blame the medium shield. Not my fault. Oh my god. Why why can't I land a parry, dude? This guy's a Oh my he's a god. Okay, enough games. Yeah, clearly this is very good on NPCs, man. World's first person to actually get poisoned by a moth flight. No. Oh, you can't roll that. You can block it, though. Thank you for delaying that jump attack, sir. Much appreciated. Okay. Well, it's it's clearly decent against these guys. Okay. Well, we don't need the ars arsenal charm yet, but... All right, Kale is done. Oh, boy. Is it time for Jar Cannon Mountaintops? It can't be that bad, you guys. Surely not a two-hour Fire Giant saga incoming. No, but realistically, though, we're going to smoke him in the eye, and it's going to deal, like, 3,000 damage. Having enough ammunition might be a problem, though. Wait, it, dude, it doesn't even scale with strength. <laughs> it just has a high strength requirement. Do I have to commit to it now, though, because I have already upgraded Yeah, eventually I kind of want to do a crossbow and, and ballista only run, so this will be a little taster of it, I guess. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, some weapons are usable on all builds. I guess the one thing is this this weapon does take a lot of strength to use, though, right? The so 34 strength, like, it, it, you know, it, it's 
maybe makes a bit of sense. I think it makes the most sense to use this on this build compared to probably any other one. Surely I'll hit the skip first try. Oh my god, dude, I almost did. It's my newly found torrent parkour skills. <sighs> How did that not make it, dude? That that should have been it. Get the arrow sting talisman. I suppose I could. I think I'm I think I'm gonna kill Commander Nial first. So this guy sells the lightning ones? 500 a piece. Let's get 40. I really put this merchant in a very inconvenient spot. You think I could cheese Nile with this? I, I Should we try it? Yeah, let's go get the arrow sting, which I believe is in this tower. You think I can fit the projectile through the little gap and cheese him? Um, I probably should have gotten my big greatsword out. I really like this Ash of War, actually. No! Oh, I think I didn't die from that. Yeah, that's a good question, Wendigo. Because, you know what? I, I think it's just because things sound like a good idea at first. Uh, Glintstone scrap only fire giant. Like, I can do that. And then I start doing it, and he starts fire breathing me and all this stuff, and it's like, wow, okay. Well, maybe that was a huge mistake. What do you need? Bone Great Bolt. All right, well, I guess we're going back to Limgrave. This poor, poor guy is about to get destroyed. Difficult gameplay. I'm, I'm, I'm open to doing the cheese on this build. I think. I think that's. I think it'll be funny. Not too often I get an opportunity to cheese this boss. Oh, I guess I I, I didn't... I didn't get the arrow's reach because I didn't think I would need it. I'll just get this grace and go back, I guess. Yeah, I might need it for Fire Giant too, maybe. I'm sure I'm not going to die here. I'll be able to rest. I'll board away. Why is that guy there now? Oh my god. Oh my word. <laughs> Jesus. Okay. Ever used the Eclipse Shotel? Uh, I have not. All I know is it's bad. But I've, I've never actually tried. Yeah, imagine making that a legendary weapon with an Ash of War that... It's just... Like, I don't know, man. Maybe it's better in PvP. Okay, um... It has been a while since I've done this. Hopefully I don't get, like, launched off the edge here. Oh, that's so annoying. Should have done this on... Hello? Hello? What is this? <laughs> well... Yeah, this is also the same game where you can scream in someone's ear and they don't hear it, dude. So you literally use Howl of Shabriri right behind an enemy and they don't even care. Huh? Dude. Huh? I'm so... What is happening here? This is so bad. Maybe, maybe I'll give you the best nut ever. Okay, there we go. I'm gonna aim right there. Holy smokes. Dude, that damage is so bad. <laughs> oh my god. At least maybe now I can headshot him. Okay, there we go. These also are the weakest bolt, so... 
Oh my god, his his side to side's too strong. Okay. Try lightning. Alright, let's try a fire. Or an explosive. Okay, well, you know what? At least it's working. At least we're killing him. And... 1169. I mean, that's not actually that much more than this one, was it? Yeah, it's not... It's barely more. But the, I, I gotta try the lightning. I'm not sure how resistant he is to lightning, but I gotta try it. There, now his summons are gone. Oh, what is this? Could you imagine if he just launched himself out of the arena? Okay, same as the fire, I guess. What about the what about the bait like the normal one? <sighs> side to side, way too strong for me. Maybe I should just go all mouse keyboard for this, dude. Actually, mm, I'm scared I'm gonna accidentally like roll off or something. That must not have been a headshot, right? Okay, that, oh, well, there we go. So that is the best one for him, at least. Yeah, he's a, he's a Counter-Strike God, this guy. There we go, man. Easy. I think this is the first time I've ever actually done this cheese before and then, like, actually killed him with it. Yeah, hype fight. This is peak gameplay here, of course, as, as usual. Oh, please leave me be. Unfortunately, um, he had died like that. Uh, let's go to round table. I'm just going to buy some more bones and bolts. Oh. Um, what build should I use here? Ah, yeah, so let's go with the... this one. Which my great rune isn't... Oh, wait, what? Oh my god, I'm missing... Come on, dude. What other weapon? Oh, 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 of course. Right, the NPC blaster. Goodbye. <laughs> I couldn't even figure out what weapon to use. <laughs> It's too bad, it's too bad, um, Encha didn't even have more health, so I could have done the full combo, but... Now, surely I'll first try this so that I don't have to restock up on any of these. I... Oh, dude, I'm so worried I'm gonna, like, run out of ammunition here or something. And and the thing is, the, the explosive are gonna be horrible because they're fire damage. It's also probably a good fight to go with, like, the protection physics setup. Okay, 1244 is not terrible. As long as I don't miss any shots. Definitely not great, though. That is also, like, my weakest one. Okay. It'd be best if I don't die so I don't have to restock on some of these. It'd probably be ideal. I can't I can't just go for any punish because the recovery is way too slow. Oh, look at that big counter hit right there. Yeah, maybe I should have gotten the uh the like spear tossman. He's no That recovery is so unbelievably slow, dude. I kind of wish they made it so that you could choose when to reload it. There's, you know what? There's like, there's actually some decent punishes here, though. I should have gotten like, I should have gotten the protection physics stuff, dude. I'm so scared of getting one shotted. Okay, here we go.
I should have I should have gone in on this probably. Like if you go behind him, there's a very high chance he rolls. And so what you can do is go behind him, bait out the roll, and then trigger both of those. Like that's the best way I found to to deal with this attack. Go behind them. Oh my. The speed is definitely a problem here. How is that not an eye hit? Let's go for the head, I guess. It's like you, you hit a, like a tiny bit to the side and it's like, oh, I guess that's not an eye hit. It's actually pretty solid damage though. So just get out of here. Please don't fire breath me, mister. Oh my god. Insane angle. Oh, oh, you guys see that fire breath come back across? Oh my God, you guys see that one? <laughs> you guys see that one like last second there? That is why that strat is not good right there. It's the best thing you can do probably, but it is nowhere near. Like there's just no chance. Oh, of course it's back against the wall, so I can't even get behind him. Like go back, to, go back and watch that <laughs> and just look at it. Look at the, those fire streaks coming back well after the attack is done. Yeah, between the, the between the legs is probably the best strat we have though, at this point in time. Oh. No, dude, no, like, that's so stupid, dude. Oh my god, I, I should have rolled that properly, like, still, but I, it got all messed up because the fire came back. I think, I don't think I need to restock yet. And then I, I saw it, and I rolled it, and then I just, I don't know, and then I messed up. Yeah, I mean, I guess you could attack on horse. I think it would be good damage. Yeah, I don't, I don't know why I do this, but... I don't know why I choose garbage setups for this boss. I mean, it's actually not the worst thing I've ever seen. Okay, so if we run out of ammu ammunition, then yeah, we could go with that. Yeah, so right there. So a lot of people wonder why I hate the fire attack so much. Like, and I got a lot of YouTube comments as well. It's like, oh man, like, does he not know that you can just run to the side of the attack? The past 10 minutes has shown you why I just, that attack is so fucking bad. Because I, I actually get that comment all the time. It's like, oh man, like, especially on the mind run where we had a really long fire giant fight. If fire giant didn't have the breath, then he wouldn't be nearly as bad to me. But that breath attack is just so atrocious that there's really just no getting around how, uh, how bad that attack is. Definitely much easier to punish in this phase. He's quite a bit slower. I'm trying to time it for when he drops down. Kind of more what I meant. I'm most likely dead here. I 
I'm 100% dead here. No way. Oh my god. This brings me back to the fist run right here. Okay, we only need like... I don't know. We don't need that many more hits. But he's got to stop fucking using fire breath. I'm dead. Oh my god. Simply get frame trapped, dude. Anyway, I think we're still okay on bolts, though. Yeah, the, like when that happens, if you, it's it's a it's a frame trap. You if you roll the plate when you're at that spot, you get hit by snow, and then if you roll to the timing of the snow, that's what happens. We're actually not gonna finish this run today because of this, dude. I I can't believe this is happening again. Can't believe it, dude. Yeah, simply win, dude. We just need to. I'll win if I if I just don't get a fire breath every five. S no. Oh my god, what just happened? That, that was so lucky. I tried to shoot, but then I didn't, and then the shot came out after I wasn't trying to shoot anymore. Oh wow. I wasn't even close to fast enough right there. Not bound? Well, definitely not. I mean, and all the fire breaths in the previous games don't do that. The first instance that I can think of where there's an actual, like, deflection on a projectile like that is in Dark Souls 3. You have the Great Wolf uh, ice. That ice does deflect off the environment. But no, I think, I think they just thought that... Having deflecting fire in this game was a good idea. I don't know why, but... And usually FromSoft's pretty good at making thing, making their attacks balanced and making everything be avoidable. No, I, I don't think I don't think it's unintentional. I think 100% it's intentional. Because that is something, it, you know, they reuse a lot of their assets and stuff, right? And they, I'm sure they re reuse a ton of stuff. That is definitely something that you would have to consciously add to your game, and I, I think. There's no way that just accidentally happens. Um, I don't think you can jump shot this thing. Oh, you can. Oh my god, I had no idea. That sucks. Maybe I should be horsing into him here getting killed again. <laughs> it's a good thing I'm not an FPS player. To be fair, I am using controller, so it makes it a bit harder. And I'm also working with some fucking trash hitbox, so... Come on, just play nice fire giant dude. Okay, just stay patient. Oh, he didn't do the growl he normally does. I just can't believe these don't hit him in the eye. Okay. Well, we did it. It's like you shoot at his eye and then you clip a tiny bit of his, his eyelid or whatever and it just doesn't count as a, an eye shot. All right, not as bad as mind only though. And honestly, it was. It, I, I do like using this thing. It, it's a pretty cool weapon. I, I think using this against dragons would be sick. Okay, finally, we're done with this thing though. We killed both of the bosses. We're moving on. Should we go to Farmazula next or should I... Like, should I end off on Millennia or should I... Do her now. I, I kind of, I kind of want to go with this 
next setup, which is gonna be um this actually. Oh boy. Um I think I might have to go naked. <laughs> okay, I guess we're going naked, you guys. Let's get that one. Let's also get actually I guess that's probably good. So my idea is we do this and then we can use both. Actually, wait a second. Okay, let's do it, man. Oh, we gotta upgrade him. Oh boy. Imagine that. Okay, so these are both somber weapons. The sword seal is probably a good idea, actually. That's good. Yeah, that's a good point. Sword seal is a good idea. Oh wait, the. Oh, that's oh that's right. That's so sick, man. Now this is a Chad. This is a Chad strength build right here, you guys. This is sick. I need two sevens and I need an additional eight and an additional nine. Yeah, like the thing is, I've I've already done fist only, so Briar armor is is kind of like a higher damage version of that, basically. All right, so with the sore seal, then I mean th this is perfectly fine, and then we can go grafted blade, and then probably get the boots on. Then yeah, we'll go like this. Um, but yeah, so we're going to farm Missoula. Look at this Chad build, dude. <laughs> So, yeah, Ruin's Greatsword, by the way. Um, I've never actually used it before, but it's got... Well, it's, it's okay. And, but, yeah, it's got that thing, and then... That Ash of War is... Like, that's the main thing with this weapon. That Ash of War is so sick. Bro. Look at that range on it. Oh, boy. Did this guy just, like, teleport over there? Oh, this thing's a, a beauty weapon, dude. <laughs> Only plus six, by the way. Why did I do this? Oh, my God. I I'm just going to hit the grace. Yep. I don't know. I, I, why did I hit the grace even? I should have just ran. <laughs> we are kind of running out of rune arcs, which tends to happen on these runs because I have no health and I need to conti continuously use rune arcs so that I can use weapons I'm trying to use. This is this actually really is a cool weapon, man. I, I can't believe I haven't really used it un until this point. The one thing that is annoying about Oath of Vengeance is that when you use it, when you're using like Ritual Sword, then you don't keep the buff on. Or, or, or yeah, you don't like you don't keep the max HP. It's probably it would probably be very exploitable if you did, but it's still kind of annoying. So one eight, one seven, or plus nine and plus nine, dude. This is gonna be this is gonna be huge right here. And we are approaching ninety nine strength, but as I was saying earlier, because I have to invest so much, so many runes into upgrading, it it does take a while to get to the max of a stat. I will go sleep here, you guys. I'm not gonna well. You know what? We'll see. Because I'm certain I can use this Ash of War through the wall. Maybe I don't even need to sleep him. I, I guess I'll hit this Grace until... Um, just in case I die. Average gods can duo no sleep attempt at fucking instantly killed. Yeah, the the ancient no hit strat here. Oh my god, does that not even work? Oh. <clears throat> this is still a great weapon for this boss, but the old no hit strat was you would use these through the pillars. Or like use an ash of war or something through the pillar. Yeah, and then that's basically it. Like people use moon veil, I use sort of night and flame. And you just, like, use fire through the pillar. Um, an opening would be nice. Oh. Oh. I should not have done this. 
Oh, just kidding. Oh. Please be noble. Aha. Imagine an instant summon. Oh my god. It's such a joke. Don't have to imagine. But I may just be able to... Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. I wonder if that would have killed me in a single hit. <laughs> it might have, dude. Noble was probably thinking the same thing, dude. Noble was like, Noble had the exact same reaction to my whiff. <laughs> the greed, dude. The insane greed. God, this is such a sick build right here. I think we're going to go with three more smithing stone weapons, so I should probably go um, collect this smithing. I think there's a smithing 10 up here. God, this weapon is insane, man. Holy shit, this guy's tanky. No! Oh, the dog. I didn't even know there's a dog up here. All right, so where was that dog? Oh, he's back there. Wonder if I can. Holy shit, that's a tanky dog. That's how it's done. Old Lord Talisman work with Oath of Vengeance? Uh, I imagine it would, actually. I've never thought about that, though. That's a that's a good idea. Probably shouldn't do bird skip so I can get the Ancient Somber. And the, I, like, maybe I'll kill the dragon, too. Running through this area kind of sucks, though. Dude, this weapon is so sick. I'm so scared of getting one shot by this guy. And I did. Uh, I guess I do actually need the rune arcs, but I lost all my runes. All right, we're going with one sword here. What the fuck was that? I'm so dead. <laughs> this is so stupid, dude. Please die. Am I going to get hit by some random lightning this time? Oh! You're fucking joking. The hardest ancient smithing stone of all time to get right there. No. Oh my god. This is why is this run turning turning into a disaster?
actually turning into a disaster, dude. Alright, so, yeah, let's go fight uh, Posse Deus Ex first. Okay, surely this will be a nice, clean fight. Now, obviously, I say certain things wrong on purpose. Or I know how they're meant to be said, and I just say it a different way just because it's funny. But, a cuckery, obviously. But, uh... I don't know. I just... <laughs> it's just funny, dude. Pretty curious how much poise damage I'm dealing with this. It's probably not that great, but let's try an R2. Oh. Probably could have gotten an extra hit in there. Plastic iframes, dude, right there. an interesting uh, sprinting attack. Oh, finish him. Beautiful finish, dude. There we go. We are still not at 99 strength yet, you guys. Surely I'll make it there eventually. Okay, I guess, I guess we are at 99 now. There we go. We basically hit it. All right, surely I won't get sniped by this guy in the boss arena. I probably will. That happens a good amount of the time when you come in here. Pretty solid damage here. Will he stun? Yep. Bye. Oh, this weapon is so sick, dude. Just dismantled. Oh yeah, I guess I didn't upgrade plus ten. We didn't need to though. Um, I think Ashen Capital. I think we might use the uh, Prelude Hammer. I feel like this is definitely another one of those weapons when you're doing a strength playthrough, you you have to use it. There's no way you cannot use this thing. 
I kind of want to swap. I, I was thinking we would swap to Craigblade for this thing. And I think that's exactly what I'm going to do. Yeah, I know Knight Rider. I, I wonder how many comments. Are, well, well, actually, you know what? I'm probably going to use Knight Rider Glaive on uh, Moog. I think that's where I'm going to use it. Oh, yeah, I guess I, I haven't used Lion's Claw. Okay, here's here's what we can do. We can swap between Craigblade and Lion's Claw on this thing. All right, let's go upgrade this thing. Surely this won't cost that much to upgrade from one to 25. So how many, how much did we just spend there? Like 100K? And now we actually have to upgrade it. Let's see how much of this costs. Look, look, like just look at the price of this, dude. It's, it's absurd. That is absurd how much that costs. Because there's so many, like, it's so un unbalanced, man, right? Because there's so many um, upgrades you got to do to get to plus 25. Yeah, there's there's so many upgrades you have to do versus, like, somber weapons where you only need to upgrade them 10 times, and it's, the, the cost of upgrading is based on the weight. This weapon looks so cool. This might be my favorite looking weapon in the game, even though it blocks up a good 10% of the screen. All right, let's see what this thing looks like with Craigblade on. Oh, dude, it looks like Leto's. Look what happens when you R2 him. <laughs> Isn't that hilarious, dude? Oh my god, you ruined my cool kill? Why did he have one HP? Oh, my cool kill just got ruined right there. Bonk. Bonk. <laughs> that looks so cool, and then he ruined it. Damn. I wasn't really missing any of the buffs either. I just... Not quite enough damage. <laughs> Dude, this looks so funny with Craigblade on it. How can you stand up from that after getting launched into the air and then flattened into the ground by... A gigantic hammer made of rocks. How does he get up from that? We're sitting over a thousand AR without the buff. All right, dude. How will this work against this boss? I feel like great hammers usually, or at least colossal weapons aren't usually that great against this guy, but just because the jump attacks are not as much of a play. Holy smokes, that range is very bad. <laughs> Actual negative range right there. Yep, as I was saying, um, they're not so great. Seems to be no exception here. This is why Lion's Claw is so strong, because you can offset the speed especially of this thing because it has that like interesting r2 on it okay shortly here i have enough time oh i dude i don't have enough time oh my god how i wonder if this is the slowest charge r2 in the game all right well screw craigley dude we're going <laughs> we're going uh lion's claw Longest Charger 2 is Flail. I've, this is probably longer than the Flail, I would imagine. Yep, and this is why you simply use Lion's Claw. Look how fast that is, dude. And the recovery of Lion's Claw is actually deceptively fast, too. Maybe, maybe I'll give you the best nut ever. Yep, new stun was going there. Huge repost. Oh. Oh. I should use another lines call there. Oh. That was, <laughs> was kind of close, man. Maybe, 
maybe I'll give you the best nut ever. All right, my friend, give me a punish. Grab, maybe. Down he goes. But yeah, I guess this the, the thing with this weapon, I really like how it looks and stuff, but outside of swapping an Ash of War, it's it's really not that great, man. Just because that art 2 is not good. Like, the main reason why big weapons are so good in this game is, like, I guess if this was on a power stance jump attack build, it'd be really good, too. But, but yeah, the main thing is that they have a lot of poise damage on their charge R2s, where this thing, it's just the R2s are too slow to use, so... All right, man, here we go. Can you put a buff on this thing? Holy shit, you can. What does that look like? Oh. <laughs> Doesn't look like a weapon that should be buffable, but. Man, it looks. I'm gonna figure out what it looks like. It looks pretty cool. Yep, simply get stunned. This is what happens when you're using this weapon. With Lion's Claw, more like it, I guess. Yep, simply... <laughs> oh my god, dude. Simply die. That's what happens. Reapply the, the pull gate. Look at that damage per hit. Yeah, no chance, dude. This, yeah, that, like this setup is genuinely one of like on, it's it's actually one of the best no hit setups in the game, probably. If people remember, I'm just gonna go for it. Just blast him. Just end him. If people remember or have seen my prelate hammer no hit run with this build. The Elden Beast is basically as scripted as the Iron Balls and stuff. Maybe not maybe not quite as strong because the damage per hit and the DPS isn't as good, but or maybe the damage per hit is the same or similar. Which is stupid when you think about it, that a, a literal fist weapon is dealing almost similar damage per hit as this monster weapon, but Okay, uh, let's go ahead and get the Knight Rider Glaive. What Ash of War should I put on the Glaive, you guys think? I, definitely in PvP, I know a lot of people use a setup with Flaming Strike, but obviously I'm not putting Flaming Strike on it, so. That's terrible on Moog. <laughs> Black Flame Tornado? Um... I like the idea of it, but at the same time, it's kind of not really like a, that's that's not an Ash of War that screams strength to me. Strength. Oh my god, he just can't even hit me, dude. No, uh, no, you don't. Simply, no, you don't. Knight Rider Glaive. So this is the first non, like, massive weapon that we've used. It does have very good strength scaling, so that's kind of the main reason why we're going to use it. But if, if, I don't know, if there's something that is, like, quick, but also deals solid damage. Nagakiba Ash of War. I really like the idea that, yeah, Piercing Fang. That sounds sick, dude. Where is the guy going to be? Like, how do I go get it right now? Is he up here? Can I still kill him here and... Oh boy, we have the... Jar cannon build here, dude. Pay me no mind. I'm just destroying you. Oh, 
Oh, he doesn't drop it? Oh, really? Like, I actually can't even get it anymore? Oh, well. I guess, <laughs> I guess he's dead anyways. Let's just see what he drops. Full armor set. So you guys think it's it's back here? Well, yeah, I didn't I didn't kill him here though. I guess so. There's an item. Ah, there we go. Um, and then yeah, before we end, uh, Elden Ring today, let's just go get the giant crusher as well, which I think is over here. Should just be able to sneak around here. There we are. Uh, but I'm just going to upgrade it so, yeah, we're prepared for tomorrow. And then tomorrow we can just go, like, finish out the last couple bosses and then... Already got all the upgrades. So, yeah, I'm thinking... Yeah, I guess we can also go get Knight's Resolve because I kind of want to use that on this. So, let's go... Let's just go grab that. I did send the elevator down, I think. Right, like, that Elden Beast kill with the, the Prelates Hammer, that... I mean... It's hard to get better a better kill than that with like a non-crazy build, right? All right, I think this is a good place to stop. I'm just going to put the Ash of War on the Giant Crusher, but... And, and I guess Piercing Fang. I've, I've used the Knight Rider Glaive in PvP a tiny bit, but I haven't really used it beyond that, so... Look at that scaling, though. So that's where we're going with tomorrow, dude. I'm, I'm excited to see how much damage... I guess we never use the Star Scourge Greatsword. Whoops. That weapon's not anything super special. Just got that Ash of War on it. Piercing Fang. I don't think I've really ever used Piercing Fang in PvE before, but I think it's really good on the dragons. Especially with the longer weapon. It, it can hit pretty high. We got this bad boy. I'm just... I'm hoping this R2 is fast enough for Millennia. If it is, that's going to deal so much damage, but... All right, welcome back, you guys. Living like Larry, dude. All right, dude. So we have killed... Everybody except for Moog and Loretta and uh, Millennia. That's it. And we've got the Giant Crusher with Knight's Resolve. And we also have uh, Knight Rider Glaive. So that's what we're doing. Any advice? Uh, play Elden Ring, your first Souls game. Now you're playing Bloodborne. You felt that you don't like it even when it looks good? I, I don't know what advice you could need. <laughs> like, if you don't like the game, you don't like the game. There's absolutely no question that Bloodborne is... If you're used to playing... It's a Piercing Fang on this. Oh, that's so much damage. If you're used to playing games in, like... With decent performance... And, and that's not... Like, the Souls games kind of don't have that, but... When, you, when you're used to 60 FPS and then you go to a game that, like, struggles to keep 30... Then, yeah, it's pretty rough, dude. I wonder if I can do what I... I, I wonder, wonder if I can use the Jar Cannon to knock off this uh, this enemy here. If you hate Bloodborne, you're just plain wrong. <laughs> if only it were that simple. If only it were actually that simple. Alright, do you guys think I can do this? Wow, it really... With the arrow's reach, it really doesn't drop much at all. I guess that's the whole point, but even still... Yep, <laughs> that certainly worked. Beautiful. I'll probably I'll, I'll probably go to Moog first, I think. The problem with Bloodborne is the bosses are either absolutely great or really boring. Yeah, that's... I mean, I, I partially agree with that, I think. Good old Moog. Good old Moog. I'm actually surprised I didn't get hit there. Oh. I don't even think that was a headshot. Holy smokes, dude. This is what happens when you fight Moog with, like, a real weapon. Maybe, maybe. 
Just gets destroyed. Come on, dude. I'm just trying to go for the head. Wow, this is... We just dummied him here. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> That's actually... I guess this is what happens when we do one of these stat-only playthroughs into a stat that actually gives us a ton of damage. Because <laughs> the, the, the fight's just... I mean, I guess it's to be expected, sort of. But... I'm sorry, Moog. That was mean. All right, now we're going with the real big boy. I, I'm not sure if this is the heaviest weapon in the game, but th I think it is, man. Like These two, I think, are the heaviest weapons in the game. We should have power stanced them, dude. We have Knight's Resolve, and we have Charger Twos. Oh... How dare you? How do you survive that? <laughs> oh my god, it's a monster. I'm, I'm excited to see how this does on Millennia, though. Maybe, if this R2 maybe. is actually fast enough. I'll give you the best. Does that not make a ton of noise? Huh. That's uh, interesting. Maybe I'm just going to blast the snail, then. I heard that. That's way better tracking than I thought they had on that. <laughs> Jesus, dude. I thought he's just gonna like launch it over there. That is why I sent that elevator up though. I surely won't get launched off the cliff by this guy. Used in the war against the giants. Like, who used this fucking weapon, dude? Leto must have used it. Oh. Oh, dude. Is this going to be a four-hit kill? Three hit kill? Goodbye. Four hit kill. Pretty simple. Pretty balanced build, you could say. <laughs> no golden vow, no flame grimy strength, no howl of shabriri. Nothing like that, dude. Just going in, smashing the boss, and then moving on. Unfortunately for him. <laughs> oh my god. Now this is a build right here. I don't think Millennia is going to stand a chance against this dude. Just spam roll. Stop. Alright, here we go. I think the real thing is that Knight's Resolve is super busted. I think that's the real. Just go for it. Yep, there it is. Yep, there it is again. No! Oh. Oh. oh, I'm attacked. I ran out of stamina. Whoops. I kinda I, I got a little carried away with my uh my stamina <laughs> usage right there. I wonder if I, I should probably go with this. Surely this time will go better. Yeah, I'm still using a strength here. There's not really anything to replace it with though. 
How much AR? 2010 AR with the buff. Not really sure how to play this with Knight's Resolve. I'm dead. And not like that. Please don't make me go get more rune arcs. Okay, I'm going to play this smarter this time. This is definitely a little awkward to use. Surely this time. Good. Maybe after I flatten her, I use a... Okay, just R1, I guess. Oh. 1800 R1. Oh my god, how did I not get clipped by that? She's such a troll, dude. That's like, it's just insane. I just want to go for my cool R2s, but you simply hyper armor into combo into simply die. The, the only thing is that I, I just, I need to play it like I'm actually trying to no hit it here instead of go for unsafe punishes. Yeah, I was wondering if it would be fast enough on the on this punish. Please. There it is. Face yourself again. I love how we're just using this monster weapon, blasting her with R2s, and she doesn't even stun a single time. Just so funny, dude. Don't be afraid to give up the good and go for the great. Yeah, on mid roll, that's not dodgeable right there. Yeah, this is, it, it is tough. Oh, whoops. <laughs> Yikes, dude. It is definitely a little tricky to fit in Knight's Resolve on a lot of these. That's not fast enough, is it? Brother. Okay, two more. But yeah, the, the the weapon, this weapon is definitely like, it's just a little bit too slow because big, big weapons actually are usually good on this fight because if you're dealing really high poise damage per hit, there's like, she should be staggering and there's less opportunities for her to just like eat the staggers. But obviously we, we I don't even think we've gotten a single stagger yet. But, uh, oh, there it is. Oh man, the damage is so high when I actually can land one. That was a nice phase one right there. That was nice. 
But yeah, I would say this weapon is just like a little bit too slow, probably here. I'm just gonna do a tap here. Oh wait, dude, even a tap is somehow too slow. The hammer also kind of makes it hard to see what's happening. The, the hammer is like perfectly blocking her. <laughs> There we go. Lots of damage, but a weapon with uh, that's this speed. I, I kind of, I was thinking this R2 was maybe like a little faster than it actually is somehow. Lion's Claw probably would be the better option. There we go though, man. Strength only all, oh yeah. All great runes. <laughs> I thought I forgot Placidus Axe, who's not a great rune, but I did kill him. I think my favorite, dude, I, I think my favorite setup with this run might've been the Great Club. Because it's just, it's so funny how much poise damage this thing does if i'm not mistaken this r2 actually doesn't deal that much poise damage like it doesn't deal over 40 poise damage does anybody know for a fact i'm pretty sure it doesn't like these both don't which i don't really understand but maybe i'm wrong but oh, does it do above 40 it definitely it, dude these charge r2s on these weapons used to do 22 in the release patch of the game but then yeah i do remember they buffed it but yeah even if it is over 40 like millennia she just eats so many stuns right because if you hit her during the hyper armor, she gets, you know, she should get poise broken, but then doesn't. And then she regenerates her poise. I did like, dude, the room. So we we did a setup also with uh with these two bad boys, man. This this one was sick too. This is like, this is a sick build right here. This weapon is very good. No, not the pancakes. The When when she's in hyper armor, when, when enemies are in hyper armor, they can't stun, right? And so what that means, uh, how this game works and how... Yeah, how this game works with poise breaks is basically if, if an enemy goes below zero poise, zero or below, that's when they're supposed to get stunned. Um, And they're meant to instantly regenerate... Not instantly, but very quickly re regenerate their poise once it hits zero so normally there's a there's a cooldown so let's say you hit a boss let's see let's say you hit an 80 poise boss you deal some poise damage on an 80 poise boss i believe it's like three and a half seconds or it's either three and a half or four and a half or something like that before the poise starts to regenerate so there's a little cooldown so you can keep building it up but so yeah that's how poise works and so that's why poise resets right if you don't attack an enemy for too long that number the amount of time that it, the delay it takes to regenerate the poise is based on the amount of poise that the boss has so we're having the highest poise of the game of in the game of 200 it takes a significant amount of time for him to regenerate his poise but all you need to know the lower the poise the quicker the reset higher poise the slower the reset but the rate at which it regenerates is the same i think it's around 12 or 13 poise per second when when it does start regenerating but when an enemy goes below zero poise it inst like there's no cooldown it instantly starts regenerating right that with the fact that enemies cannot be stunned when they're in hyper armor so like moog when he's doing his countdown can't be stunned millennia just constantly is in hyper armor right and can't be like staggered out of it so what ends up happening with big weapons sometimes if they're not dealing if they're not dealing the poise damage fast enough or on hits where she can be stunned she very quickly goes into negative poise which means it resets so an example i i hit her when she's side dashing it should poise break but it doesn't her poise goes below zero it instantly starts regenerating at 13 per second but she's still doing a combo or something right like she still gets her attack off or whatever and and then doesn't allow me to attack it only takes a few seconds for the poise to go all the way back up to 80 and so that's why a lot of different weapons cannot stun millennia very well even though you'd think they should. And yeah, it's because she has just absurd hyper armor just constantly, and she just eats stuns all the time. It, it makes no sense. Like, if somebody if somebody deals enough poise damage to get a stun, they should get a stun. That's just how it should be, in my opinion. But yeah, there we go. Strength only. This was a fun one, dude. This, I don't know. This might have been my favorite one so far. Possibly. It's tough. They've all been really fun, but I like the big weapons, man. It's I, There's something about using the big weapons in these games that is so much fun to do. Especially in Elden Ring, I think. Because they're actually good. In, in the previous Souls games... At least Dark Souls 3, which is the one I played the most, they're not really that good. The good old Great Club, man. 
I, I love this thing. I'm just going to blast this guy. The NPC killer. You know what? I'm kind of... Uh, before before I stop here, I want to test... Uh, I don't have a Grace near Vike. But he's he's a tanky NPC boss. I just want to see... I, I think Vike likes to roll a lot, but I want to see if this, this does well on him. Minecraft no hit. Oh, uh, dude, that's going to be so much fun when I actually get around to doing something like that. But yeah, obviously, like, random seed and all that stuff. Um, I think Minecraft speedruns, I, I, someone, somebody brought it up the other day. It's like that, the, the bed strat that they usually use for an ender dragon. I'm pretty sure you get hit by that. Okay. This is all, that's all I wanted to see. I just wanted to see, uh. If you'd want to roll out of it, which she obviously does. Unfortunate. This is this is definitely good on like on some NPC fights, but come on, bro. He's just gonna like Ash of War and one shot me. Yeah, not great on him, dude. It, it's good on some of them, but Vike is a total asshole. So, anyways, I guess let's do a, a master run run through, dude.